So your Fire Stick remote stopped working and you don't know why. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bring it back to life. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And on today's video, I am going to show you how to bring your remote control back to life so it can start working that Fire Stick or working the volume control on your television and power button for your TV. So. The most common reason for these remotes to stop working is just like a bad relationship. They stop communicating. And on today's video, we're going to bring some flowers, some chocolate covered strawberries, maybe a diamond at the end. And we're going to get these two talking together again so you can get back to watching your movies and shows. Now it is about close to 3 o'clock in the morning, guys. I'm a little tired, so if I make some dumb jokes along the way, I'm just trying to make this fun so I can keep my eyes open. All right. For those of you that need a video on a how to program your remote control to a new television or to a different television in your house, I do have a link in the description of this one and it's going to read how to program your Fire Stick remote control. Go there and that'll show you how to program it to a TV, to a subwoofer and whatever else you need. This one is specifically to bring your remote control back to life because it was programmed at one point and now it's not doing anything. So. First step that we're going to take is we're going to make sure that your Fire Stick remote and your Fire Stick itself or Fire TV device are looking for each other, okay? It's that moment in the relationship where they're very sorry about what they did and they just need to find each other again, okay? So how do we do that? First thing is to power off the Fire Stick and power it back on and you're going to do that by unplugging it from the outlet or unplugging it from the side, the, the cable that's connected to the side here. Here's the picture of it right here. See this cable right here that I'm pointing out? That's the power cord on the side of the fire stick. If it's easy for you guys to get there, take it off and put it back in. If it's easier to get to the outlet, take it out of the outlet, put it back in. That'll reset the fire stick itself. You'll see the fire stick logo on your screen and it's going to go to the home screen. Once it's on this home screen, it's already scanning and looking for the remote control. Now we need to get the remote control to start looking for the fire stick. And we do that by sliding off the back end, replacing it or removing the batteries and putting it back in. A fresh set of batteries never hurt anybody, so if you have a fresh set, this would be the time to go ahead and put it back in there. If you're fair, fairly certain that those batteries are good, please make sure that they are, because you can go through all these steps and find out that was the batteries at the end, so it's best to have a fresh set of batteries, two AAAs, okay? You're going to put them back in there, and now the remote control is looking for the fire stick. So within a few seconds, they should communicate, and you should be back to, to work in the fire stick again, back to watching shows. Assuming for one moment that it did not fix the problem. Now we're gonna jump to step number two, which is going to be forcing the remote to start communicating with the fire stick. Now keep in mind that the fire stick itself has to be in the home screen. Right now behind me, we are on the slideshow where it's about to go to sleep mode, okay? If you're seeing pictures on your screen rather than the home screen, like you're seeing changing pictures here, then you're not in the right place. You need to unplug the fire stick, plug it back in so it can go back to the home screen and continue these steps, okay? So, how do we force the fire stick remote to start communicating with the fire stick? We're going to go ahead and press and hold the home button. We're going to go ahead and do that, and we're gonna press and hold it for about 30 seconds. And you should start seeing lights blinking on your remote control. If you do, you can release the button. But if you don't see a light because you have an older remote, hold it for 30 seconds, it'll do the same thing. And then after that, within a few seconds, you should see uh, a pop-up on the lower right-hand side of the screen saying connected to remote control, and that should get it going again. Hopefully by now your remote control is working. But here we go again one more time. Assuming that that did not fix your problem, we're going to do the f uh, last step which is to do a factory reset on the remote control itself, not your fire stick. Guys, this is not gonna factory reset your fire stick, so don't go in panic mode thinking you're gonna lose everything on your fire stick. This is going to do a factory reset on the remote control itself as long as you hit the buttons that I'm about to tell you to hit. Which buttons are those? Look at your remote control. You're gonna hit the back button, which is the one with the curvy arrow. You're gonna hit the options button, which is the one with the three lines. And if you're looking at your ring, where you go up, down, left, and right, you're gonna hit left, your left, okay, your left. So these are the three buttons. You're gonna press and hold them for about 20 seconds, okay? If you see a blinking light come on on the remote, you can release them. If you don't have a light, just press and hold them for about 20 seconds. 
and then after 20 seconds that fact that remote has been factory reset now what you need to do is step number two which is to press and hold the button for 30 seconds the home button okay press and hold it if you see a blinking light you can let it go if you don't see a light just hold it for 30 seconds and that's going to force it to communicate with that fire stick again again the fire stick needs to be on the home screen you need to see your apps and stuff on the home screen for this to work if you're on the pictures unplug plug back in that third step should take care of your problem and your fire stick should be working again that will that third step will also fix the volume problem if you already had it programmed to your television again if you guys are looking for a video on how to program the fire stick to the television then you can check out the other video that i have in the description of this one okay how to program your fire stick remote the link is there check it out i hope this helped i hope it brought it back to life let me know in the comments below if it did work if it brought it back to life that also means a lot to me but please most important like the video okay ring the bell notification subscribe okay and leave a comment below i'd love to hear what you have to say thank you guys again for watching i'm sorry for the corny jokes I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, guys, happy streaming.